Welcome back gamers. So today we're going to be talking about Armor Forge's newest update. Now this is the 1.1 update. It kind of has to do with the experimental update that happened last month. It was more or less the end of the month. The videos on my channel if you want to check it out. A lot of this stuff is new guns, cars, AI systems, and more. This is ported over from the experimental into the base game itself. I will be going over the change log at the end of this video as well if you're interested in that stuff. Link will be in the description for where I get the information. That being said, let's get into the video. Before we get into the video itself, please hit that subscribe button as well as that like button because hitting that like button pushes this content out so more people can see it and it does, the, it does good for the channel. Alright, we're here in the game now. We're playing Game Master so I could showcase some of the new stuff in the update. Um, as before, in the experimental update, we have some new vehicles, as you can see. We got the uh, the car, van. We've had this for a while, the uh, UAZ off-road. But now we have the UAZ with the mounted machine guns on the back, which is pretty nice. So you can just sit in the back cage here, and you can fire upon people. It's kind of like the Humvees, but no 50 cals, obviously. But that is still that is very nice. Nice addition. Now, a lot of these vehicles, people might be saying, why, what's the point of adding these two in? It's just for civilian vehicles, for if you're running like a special operations server, you want to add civilian assets in there, as well as for playing the overthrow server, or for playing armor life, because a lot of people like doing that, like the roleplay style. These type of vehicles add a lot of different type of uh, opportunities, which is nice. And one of the coolest things they've added in is the suits they have now, for civilian clothing. Yeah, my guy kind of looks like Al Capone, or back in the, you know, the 50s, the 40s, something like that. That's kind of nice. Cool, uh, cool assets they added. A new gun. This is one of the guns we, we showed off in the last experimental update. But like I said, this is all the base game now. And we got the big boy here. Big boy on the tripod. Where's that? NSV tripod. And I will show you a lot of this civilian clothing is in this arsenal box here, which is the FIA faction. Let's go ahead and play with my character. As you can see, I look badass as hell. The new gun. A lot of kick. But it is a nice gun. That's pretty cool looking. And now, I did see on the change log that you can play as the FIA faction now. So I'm curious on how that's going to work in the servers. So I'm going to go ahead and open the box. You see, right here you can see the new gun, the UK-59L. If you scroll over, now this is an arsenal box. It shows all clothing and weapons. So you have to go to the actual clothing box if you're doing in-game. You got the normal stuff. And they have all the civilian clothing they added. Flat caps. You know, hard hats. You got these kind of like raincoat style jackets. Yeah, raincoat. You got jean jackets. Actually, let's go ahead and take off something here. And add a uh, jean jacket on. There you go, jean jacket. You got flannels. That's kind of nice, actually. We got a variety of flannels, actually. Suit pants, suits. They yeah, collared uh, turtlenecks. You got flat caps, you got the beanies. There's a good variety of choice if you want to play on one of the uh, role-playing servers, or if you're playing an actual game in like a modded server, they might implement some of these clothing in here. I'm not sure how they're going to do that yet. All right, got two shoe soldiers here. We're going to see if they take cover behind the vehicle, if they see each other. See if they take cover. Okay, he's running to cover right now, which is the wrong way. He's literally taking cover behind a concrete pillar. And this guy's taking cover behind a bench. So yeah, that's part of the new AI system where they actually take cover. They throw smoke grenades to use uh, medics and stuff like that to heal each other up. Pretty cool. If you want to check more about the AI system itself, you can go on to one of my previous videos. It'll be in the link below about the experimental update showcasing. You know, I kind of had like a simulated firefight going on showing them how the AI works and whatnot. All right, now let's pop over to the uh, the change log here. We're proud to release the Armor Forger 1.1 update, Resistance Ops. This major update introduces new player content, civilian clothing, weapons, optics, vehicles, and more. It also includes a multitude of fixes and improvements. Players can now play as the Guerrilla Resistance Faction and collaborate together to liberate the island, the new scenario called Combat Ops, Everon. This is a whole new game mode they're adding in, which is pretty cool. This is in this game mode, the FIA Faction, and collaborate with up to five players to liberate the island, Everon. So it's a new five player versus AI style game mode. That's pretty nice. I might have to make a separate video on that. Got the new weapons, I showcased the, uh, the UK-59L, and there's also the, uh, the M16A2 carbine, 
which I did. I showed that in the experimental update. It's just a standard M16 full auto. That's the, uh, the M16A2 carbine. is a full, fully automatic version of the M16. Nothing too fancy. Civilian assets. I showed you a bunch of the civilian clothing. The AI improvements. This is kind of what I was talking about before. How the AI can actually take cover. They can use tactics. They can use smoke grenades to um, heal up their friends. Unfortunately, there is no vehicle... There is no AI driving vehicles yet that is going to be coming soon. I'm really hoping so. I really want them to add in this game is shooting from the vehicle. I want to be able to be in the passenger seat and pull my gun up and shoot out of the vehicle. Because that, that that's very important. I read through every little detail. A lot of this stuff was already added in through the experimental update that I put out. And here's the change log. Now I'm going to scroll through this change log so that way y'all can... Take a look at everything. Like I said, I'm not gonna read down every little thing because that can take that can take hours to go through all this, you know, detail by detail. I'll also be adding a link in the description of this video, so that way you can go check out the change log yourself if you want to, you know, look down every little detail. But yeah, that's <laughs> there's a lot of different things they've added in this and changed. I'm halfway down the page. Like I said, I'm not gonna go down into the rabbit hole here. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.